Welcome to Draw It Out, where we draw for longer. I'm Caldwell. I'm Nathan. And I'm Pat. Pat joining us. Pat Castles, of course, the head writer of College Humor and uh, lesser known fact, uh, winner of five Stanley Cups, uh, otherwise known as the Stanley Big Gulp. Pat, um, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, you know, I, I couldn't have done it without my teammates. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they say, I mean, that five, when, once, you, once you got a big gulp, you, <laughs> you're really, there's not much left. You, you kind of, you've done it. So you never gulp back. There's, <laughs> and they are usable big gulps. That's the cool. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> You How can many bring them in. do you? I know that like the thing with Stanley Cups is like uh, you know everyone gets gets it for like a week or so and um, like you you see people like drinking out of it. I think that's kind of like a thing. But like what? It yeah. seems really gross. It seems like maybe if you drink out of that, you're gonna get sick. Definitely, I can't think of anything grosser than a cup that every hockey player on mm. the planet has drunk out of once. I, I just feel like is how it the is same there... cup every year? They they have to give it back. I think it of... is. Yeah. I think because they engrave the names on it. Right? They keep adding the original Stanley so, Cup though was just a tiny little bolt. That one you see now is like yeah. a, like a sort of because they in, engrave the initials of winners on them, and they ran. <laughs> it, but it used to be just a little bowl, but they ran out of room after a few years, and so that's why that's why it kind of, that's why it's such an odd shape. They just kind of keep adding new like layers to it. Yeah. So, oh, Do you think that everyone uh, who's ever won the Stanley Cup has herpes, and they're just not talking about it? <laughs> yeah, starting from the first the first French Canadian yeah. guy. <laughs> who, it's a, yeah, like it's it's a legendary. It's an impossible strain of herpes too. <laughs> yeah, they uh, <laughs> an impossible strain. It's, it's a, a super ultra resistant Canadian strain of herpes. Yeah, that's what the show The Strain is about, actually. <laughs> oh, that they all just too have many herpes. people kiss the Stanley Cup, and now we have. <laughs> It and was, now we have super sewer vampires. It was my, my little, my little, um, fl my little. Your swoop, spoiled school by spoil flock. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you call? Is that what you say when you go to the? Um, yeah, for those who haven't seen an episode before, we, we always start by drawing a caricature of our guest. Is that what you would you say when you go to the the barber? Is uh, can you? No, I don't. I mean, I, I I try and say I don't want that. Like, oh, yeah. I, I mean, not you're you were your uh -huh. drawing is very accurate. I'm not, but <laughs> no, I try to avoid form, that. I mean, I this feel is like just a, the form it's, your it's, hair it's, takes. <laughs> Siobhan, actually, mm -hmm. uh, Siobhan's one of our writers uh -huh. and performers here, wonderfully talented uh, new writer-performer here. Mm -hmm. uh, we were walking back from lunch, yeah. and we passed, like, there's all these fancy clothing stores up the street, because we we're on Sunset Avenue. Yes, um, we are in fancy. Where all the celebrities and fanciness is. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> There was like a pair of salmon pants, and I was like, "You think I could put?" She was like, "She was like, I think you could pull those pants off." And I was like, "I don't need to give people more reasons to, to think I'm just like a douchey prep yeah. school guy." <laughs> That's like, like, and I'm not flattering myself. I don't think it's, I don't mean like in a handsome way. I just mean like in a, I don't know. I mean, Carla, you kind of have. I mean, you sort of have a. Similar, I have like, to watch out for that too. Yeah. Like, I really like wearing a, a bow tie, but I realize that like if I I can't make that like my look. Yeah. Uh, and like I can't. There's just certain things I can't wear because it makes me look too white. Yeah, I'm I mean, you, I think you, you <laughs> I guess it's the way to say you own whiteness. <laughs> That's not like I'm an insult, but I think you, a, I, you seem to enjoy though wearing like, interesting, you're kind of like Adam Conover. I think you have, you have a sartorial taste, you, you have some sartorial yeah, taste, I, love, I have none. I think that like, we're in a weird position where I would love to wear more sort of, you know, like high class sartorial things, but well, number one, Adam is kind of, is, is, is claimed, I think he's, you know, like he's a, uh, claimed that field for himself a little bit but also i don't know it's like you I, we're in a profession in a field where like if you dress up too much it kind of like it's noticeable in a weird way i think yeah yeah mm -hmm. i kind of respect adam's like he just leaned into like yeah he, he was just like nah man i'm just here's what i'm doing well Check it's it fun because adam adam conover uh oh, of course is who we're he, talking he's about. been on he's been on the show before yeah yeah um, a not while drawn back. out but we'll, uh, get, him maybe we'll get him. This is good. This looks just like me. Oh, thank I feel you. Like. Yeah, you've got a you've got a, a look, man. You've got a good a, car a look that a cartoonist can fall in love with. <laughs> thank you. Not just not a woman. <laughs> not a, not a woman. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. that, that only a cartoonist. That does sound like an actual insult. It's like a look that only a cartoonist can yeah. love. <laughs> no, no. I'm gonna use that in my novel. Where my diss novel, <laughs> my Pat Castle's yeah. diss novel. Wow, that's the new thing. You don't want to be insulted that's, or yeah, that's that what, wrote a novel. That's what authors do when they get into Twitter yeah, beef. They write does, whole diss novels. That does sound like a thing. It's like, <laughs> what's it? Nick Hornby writes first diss novel against Meek Mill. He probably died. I guess it's still so Meek Mill. <laughs> Meek Mill leaves the rap mm -hmm. game to yeah. become a novelist. Dude, actually, only Dune to be is destroyed. just uh, <laughs> Frank Herbert's passive aggressive, a passive aggressive roommate note that yeah. Frank Herbert wrote to his roommate. <laughs> his roommate stole all his paprika. Yeah, and he's like, Spice got a <laughs> flow. A nine hundred page novel. 
passive aggressive note. <laughs> like, hey, I just just give this a read. I think maybe you know, there's some yeah. stuff in here. Like, hey, Nick, it's Nick Hornby. Nick <laughs> Hornby and Frank Herbert live together. I think so. they're the same age, right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> what is time? Is wow, this is very. I feel this is. I gave you a smile. I figured. I don't know. I That's thought. A, I think you deserve to be happy. Shown so some nice. teeth. This is the yeah. Mm-hmm. Some really nice teeth. You brushing, brushing and flossing Great teeth, regularly. Man. Me with a genuine, me oh. genuinely happy is the most unreal, most fantastical <laughs> thing you've ever drawn, Caldwell. Wow, no fantastic! It was so any real. Bare alien hybrid you've ever done. Uh, thank you for mercifully making my chin. <laughs> was, it, was it too? I have a problem. Um, I have like Caldwell a, can't a medical draw not condition. Big chins. Right, I, I just always draw this. chins too big. No, I have a problem. It's that I have a big chin. <laughs> so are you? Then. Yeah, it's no. true. I, I, maybe, maybe I was, uh, I was being a little too. Uh, I think that's about it. Yeah. Wait, what do you what, what do you think? How are we doing? Let's check in. I actually think the correct intention you made felt good. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back in time a bit. All right, there we go. Like that? Yeah, I like that. Maybe a little more like. All right, so like, well, we're we're getting close on this on this caricature. I think we're we're, we're nailing it. I think that the next step is uh, you get to make a suggestion for what what you want to be doing, what you okay. want to what what you want us to draw in addition to that. Um, to ha- related in, to add to me or yeah, to add new, to your okay. portrait. You know, I mean, I, I, <laughs> can I actually say tennis? <laughs> yeah, do you want to go, do you want to go boardwalk with us? No, I mean, you it know, could be some, I mean, it could be, yeah, I guess it would be like, is that too boring? Is no, tennis too I, there's boring? nothing's too boring. Pat, that's our challenge here is we got to make it, uh, we got to make anything All exciting. All right, I didn't shave, I didn't shave You today. didn't, and I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm putting, I'm shave shaming you. That's on, like the on new the thing courts, on the internet. big, that's a big, that's a big like, faux pas. Yeah. Maybe show, up, show up to the tennis courts unshaven. That's true. Oh yeah, you're, you're gonna, gonna get some serious flack from Agassi and the whole gang. Yeah, yeah. Um, or maybe like, is there a crazier sport? Or maybe we I mean, maybe tennis. it's a tennis. You did variant. win the Stanley Cup, so What's well, that? we were talking about. Listen, let's let's wrap it back around to like you said. Like, I don't think that I think it would make me look too white to pull off like a salmon pant. Yeah, I think that that's what we got to do. Salmon is we gotta like we gotta show you we gotta fill you with the confidence that you need to pull okay. off that look. And I think that like playing tennis is gonna help. That's okay. gonna like get you there. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, yeah, so I, 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 it's. I guess it'd be not. I'll, I'm never going to play tennis in my life. <laughs> I know that. That's a strong statement. It is, number but one. it's just hard. The amount of things that have to happen to get me on a tennis court at this uh-huh. point. <laughs> the, so, the crazy amount of coincidence. So we might as well get it here. Like <laughs> that's uh, true. I'm gonna go. I'm going full in on the the the, uh, the shadow. The four o'clock, five o'clock. Yeah, that you got going on here. Okay. I like it. I think it's like, it's a, It's giving you. It's gonna help you on the tennis court. Uh, it's like you're distractingly rugged. I'm the bad boy of tennis. Exactly. I'm the uh, I'm the um, the happy Gilmore of tennis. So exactly. The, uh, you. <laughs> oh, maybe that's what it is. Is you're you're disrupting the game of tennis. Yeah. Oh, you're using you're using your your hockey swing uh-huh. to revolutionize. Yeah, because you're the, you've already tennis swing. You've already conquered. Like hockey. I'd be wearing like a, a t-shirt that just says like. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you over your bullshit or something. <laughs> you wearing a big dog shirt? Something like that. Yeah, all right. So, like, are you going to do something? Like, I'm sorry. I don't speak, asshole. <laughs> My government, sc- I don't need sex. My government screws me every day. <laughs> Let's, um, hey, Nate, do you want to take over and, and draw uh, a Pat Castle's The Bad Boy of Professional Tennis? So Okay, so he's... He's got that real innocent smile, but but his shirt thing. his shirt's gonna be real, real well, confrontational. Yeah. But I he's think, also playing like, tennis. Once you see, <laughs> do you? I, I'm gonna close this down. You want to open up on your end? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. uh, as long as you draw like a judge being like buff- offended in the background. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Well, like the court judge, you mean? Yeah. I, I can't remember. I don't know if it's actual judge or if it's like a referee, but like or, the guy that sits in like the lifeguard chair, though. Is what we're talking I did. About. I, I will say I just saw a commercial for. There isn't there a tennis thing going on right now. Well, there was uh, six, seven days in hell. Was that tennis like that movie, HBO maybe, thing? Maybe, that movie was so good. Actually, Andy Samberg is kind of a bad boy in tennis, in that, right? But I think he's a. I think we. I think there's room. But for like this one. is like, you know that that's like a fictional portrayal. This is real. This, this is, is real totally hundred percent. That movie was. I love that movie so much. By the way, that's Pat's rec for the show. It we is. Got that out of the way. Seven days in hell. Oh, it yeah. was great. I thought it was so funny. So so it's like Wet Hot American Summer, just totally ridiculous. Oh, I love yeah, that. It's 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 the right length too. Oh, you know? I, every movie should be 45 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> it was perfect. I believe that. That's my big I, takeaway. I also like how they made the, uh, spoiler alert, they made the Queen of England just like, they didn't even try and do a British accent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, she, she's, just, she's just like, 
clearly just a lady. <laughs> I like this. I like talking about other funny things on the show. It really yeah. gets the pressure off us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's just say, uh, yeah, have you guys ever seen, you know, also, guys, just, um, <laughs> Click was so funny. <laughs> Welcome back to hour 30 of the Click cast. It's just like... Or you know what else was really good? Um, the Prestige. Pat, what, uh, what handed are you? Oh, that's a good question. I'm a righty. You're a righty, yeah. okay. That further adds to your bad boy <laughs> ad- yeah. attitude. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah, I'm the 90, most, yeah. 90 percentile. Uh, most tennis players are like, they, from birth, have their right hand strapped behind their back to give them a competitive <laughs> edge as a lefty. I, um, do you know... I just watched The Nick. Have you seen that show? No. Should I stop talking about things I watch? <laughs> if you have something, if you, if you, I haven't seen The Nick, so I, I, if you've got an interesting point. There's to a make. whole subplot. This woman, yeah. she, her, she, she has um, syphilis, and sometimes you lose your nose back in the day if you had syphilis. God, man. And they have to grasp a new <laughs> nose onto her. And uh-huh. the way they do that, they have to like they use arm skin, but oh. the arm skin needs a blood flow, so you have to like live with your face sewed to your arm for like a month. That's so Isn't like, that... that's disturbing, but like. Probably pretty funny to see. Yeah, it's it is it is much like this drawing of me is. Yeah. Going to be <laughs> for me. So like, I think you're wearing a big dog shirt. Yeah. You got the, oh, is this the racket behind? Uh, nice. behind the head? Yeah, he's holding like he's holding it cool like. I think does he use a normal racket or is it kind of like is do you have like oh a like happy the happy Gilmore. Gilmore like it's got like a hockey <laughs> yeah thing or it's going like on. maybe it's got like a baseball grip or something or maybe it should have a hockey grip yeah it's got it's just got like a hockey blade <laughs> just on the yeah. on the top just sticking off the top of it yeah just for like that oh, extra you know what for, no for, for, Nate, for the slice it for should when you be like do the slice can I make type? a suggestion. It yeah. should be just a hockey stick, but like with uh, like the with... tennis gut netting, like built into. Okay. It. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, yeah. Just, it's like taking like a step that. back. It's like, because like when you so were is making... the netting kind of going at like at a forty-five degree yeah. angle. Yeah. It's like oh, a women's cool. lacrosse stick. I think is that what we're going for here. <laughs> no. <laughs> we're not... just making a girl lacrosse yeah. player. <laughs> that would be like even wider than what we're drawing. Oh we're right, lacrosse. I was thinking field hockey for some reason. No. Lacrosse, of course. Yeah. Uh, I, I played lacrosse back in high school. It's weird that's such a uh, waspy game uh, because it didn't it originate with the Native Americans. Yeah, well, I think that makes it the most waspy. It's, yeah, because we, <laughs> we literally stole it from the Native <laughs> Americans. Yeah, it's just fully appropriated from. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys go uh, stay in that tiny little corner of Colorado. Leave the lacrosse sticks. Uh huh. Because yeah. it's like that. We, we somehow wanna... transformed a noble, uh, you know, like spirit-filled game uh, played by Native Americans into. Just something that involved, devolved into, like, you know, like, white teenagers buying a lot of gear. <laughs> they should take, you know, um, one, of, one of our, uh, um, Julia Bales, one mm-hmm. of our producers here, is a, was a very, very, had a very prestigious, um, I want, wait, was it lacrosse or field hockey? God damn it, I messed up. Well, field hockey is the one, like, you know. Field hockey is not as wasp. It, that, the that, name pretty much describes it. So, yeah, like, <laughs> I guess think about that in your head. When you form a mental image, this is like a really good caricature. This is like, yeah, if, you, if the guy at the caricature like didn't make your head as big, <laughs> my head, people, my head is just so naturally big. I'm just picturing you going to like a boardwalk or a pier and like getting furious that he made your head so big in the caricature. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's just a goofy thing. It's not like. <laughs> My head's not that big. Let's just draw. I may make it so, really, really small. I demand you redo this. Make my head tiny. Okay. To the point so, the, so, so there's like a there's like stroke. a tether sort of tied. It's yeah, kind of like, it's like that Simpsons, the baseball episode of the Simpsons, where yeah. uh, they get, he's so pirate. Mr. Burns wants his wants his um his uh. Uh, the hair to be, the guy he's the guy uh, I can't remember which player it was but his hair was so long his sideburns is it King Griffey Jr. no not King Griffey no it's one of the white players yeah. and it's like oh yeah when he just keeps he keeps telling him to shave his sideburns yeah. he comes in it's and like he does Hernandez or something like that and it's by the end it's like he's got like all like a hipster crop top going on it's still it's still too much sideburns <laughs> he's one of the burns. only players who a, a fate doesn't befall befall him and Burns kicks him out of the game because of the sideburns. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he gets off easy. I like Ken Griffey Jr. has like one, I think three of them can get like <laughs> irreversible diseases. It one of them just falls episode. into the phantom zone. <laughs> <laughs> that's my fit. That's so funny. Which season is that? Because that is that like, it's always really? fun uh, pinpointing the points in a Simpsons in the Simpsons run when like 
things like because it starts off as a pretty grounded show and then eventually like things like that happen where like a baseball player falls into the phantom zone it wasn't that late because all those plays no those some of those players are not like super contemporary yeah like, they're, so i don't remember daryl like daryl strawberry was still playing so it must have been That's like true it must the have been. 90s or something it was obviously the 90s but mm-hmm. Anyway, but it, I think he does, but yeah, he falls into the, he falls into the fantasy. It's like a bottomless pit. I think is specifically what happens. Uh, but yeah, I feel like you know, like earlier, an earlier episode might not have like he might have just like gotten on a bus to nowhere or something like that. But he straight up falls into like a, an abyss. I also think any episode that had like celebrities, they kind of like loosen the reins a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that it's is like, a good point. It's so weird to begin with. Like Leonard Nimoy just like phases out. I think he like he like straight up like teleports away at yeah, the end of an episode. It's great, you gotta you gotta. Uh, we all know Leonard Nimoy had that ability in real life. Well, that's, this is oh, that, was gonna, the, that was the monorail episode, right? Uh, yes, which is also because, a, a because fairly fantastic episode. Remember they they uh, the the story behind that one. Uh, mm-hmm. S- Simpsons fans out there will, will already know this one, but yeah. their their first choice for the celebrity cameo was George Takei. Oh, okay. But George Takei takes monorails very seriously. <laughs> oh my god, that's so I funny. Love it. And Wait, did not want to be in an episode he, making fun of. He monorails. didn't want to like decry the like marvel of industrialism that a monorail is. I think that's so funny. I like if you're gonna say no to The Simpsons, that's the that's the perfect reason. Guys, I gotta say, um, like this has been really fun and all, but could we maybe get back to talking about Click? Like our audience is going to be oh. furious that we have <laughs> yeah. that we've been we've gone so long without talking about Click. Yeah, you don't start a Click conversation. Yeah. I never saw it actually. <laughs> oh my god, it's so sad. It's sad. It's so oh yeah, much, it's so much sadder than it needed to be. Well, because it's like the whole kind of context is it's like Adam Sandler wishing he could go back, right? <laughs> it's Adam Sandler wishing he could go to the past and not be like not and make his life less. Sad. I like that because I feel like that's the ultimate because that that was like. Mm-hmm. After like that, that's like his nineteenth like Happy Madison movie. So yeah. I, just to think of all the like, Adam Sandler fans who just went in just get like pumped for Jack and Jill or yeah. for like Billy <laughs> Madison too, and then getting like a rumination on death and mortality. Yeah. And it's just like oh man, that's yeah. Right, th- that's so the did... movie that ends with um him standing in front of a uh a, a like a, a red sandy beach. Uh, the moon is crumbling before him and he's like I went too far. Oh god, oh god, I went too far. Right? Is that that's true? The, that's the I thought you were no. making that up. No, that's oh. for sure made up. Yeah. No. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. It is a time it's, travel it's, film. It's, it's either made up or the ending of an anime I saw. <laughs> One of the two. That's a, that's the game we play on the show. It's, like, it's called we're making far. this up, or it's just the end of an anime. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good quiz show. You should do that. As yeah. Thing. <laughs> yeah. That. Oh yeah. Wow. That is actually. Let's hold on to that for later. That is kind of a fun idea. Anime. Yeah. <laughs> something Cobble is just making up, or something that yeah, he's yeah, taken from an anime. Where did this happen? In well, let's play right now because you guys watch. A, I watch almost no anime. You guys yeah. watch all the anime. Um. Okay. Here's one. Okay. Um. Is, now this is, I, I yeah. have to guess whether this is made up or not. Yeah, whether I'm making up this plot or whether it's the plot to an anime. Okay. Um, a, uh, a teenage boy solves crimes uh, in a small town using his sidekick, who is a, an alien that is infesting his left hand. Just his left hand? Just his left hand. You're making that up. Nope, that's the... What? <laughs> that's Parasite, right? That's the plot of Parasite. What does it yeah. look like? Uh, it's... I. Oh, hold on. You know, well... While Nathan's yeah. drawing, I'm going to pull up a picture of it for Pat. All right, what, it, what okay. does the shirt say? Uh, uh, I think we should make up our own big dog shirt. I yeah. gave t- I said, I think I liked, um, I'm sorry I couldn't hear you. I, I'm sorry I don't speak asshole. I'm pulling it okay. up. Maybe, how, is that good? Uh, I like, I'm sorry I don't speak asshole. Or, or maybe just sorry I don't speak asshole. Yeah, or oh. is, is, there a, um, is there a tennis pun that we could do? Oh, like, that's funny. I'm trying to, something about like love. It's like No, balls or no you're the one at fault. <laughs> What's that? Tennis is the only sport where it's not gay to love balls. <laughs> 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 that seems like big doggy. I don't. Yeah. This, I'm. I'm showing. Oh, I'm gonna show Pat. Uh, I think I showed you this GIF actually. But I'm. I'm. I'm just showing Pat gifts from Parasite. It's not. I like that one too because it's also just not. I mean, mm-hmm. it's not true for a lot of reasons, but just mm-hmm. logically speaking, it's not the only sport where it's not yeah. gay to love balls. <laughs> oh true. my god, it's horrific. <laughs> Yeah, if you guys, uh, oh, that that's Caldwell's rec for the show. Watch Parasite the Maxim. It's a cool anime. This is Click, right? This is a scene yeah, this from is Click. <laughs> this is the original ending for yeah, Click. Yeah, this is the ending of Click where Adam Sandler turns into a, a parasitic monster. Does that person, world. does that girl live or that boy no. live? No, she certainly does she not. She gets eaten by the, yeah, the weird thing. That's like thing. the cold open of the show, I think. Oh, 
Oh man, okay, so we're going with Sorry I Don't Speak Asshole, but on the back, uh, this is just like, for the fans, yeah. on the back it says tennis the only sport where it's okay to, where it's not gay to love ball. Is there, I don't yeah. think we need to do it, and I don't even know what I mean uh-huh. by this. Like, that, is there, <laughs> that's a great big dog, by the way. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I like these. Uh, what were you going to say, Pat? I, it's so dumb, it doesn't make any sense, It's in, but like, <laughs> Never could you draw something on the back of my shirt in this thing? Yeah. And... But there's no way that doesn't make any sense. Or you mean like could we the draw back of my it? shirt doesn't exist? No, we have no, to do two dimensional drawing. You're standing in front of a mirror, obviously. Ah, uh, Nathan pulling through. That's the classic drawfy problem solving that he brings to the table. <laughs> a mirror. But then you're gonna see <laughs> us recording it. I don't. I don't get how. Whoa. <laughs> oh, continuity error. You can see it. You can see them recording the entire thing in this animated mirror. <laughs> Uh, it, we, yeah, there's a total. Uh, yeah, you can see Norman Walk, Rockwell drawing the painting. Um, Don't yeah, speak asshole. I guess. Maybe, oh, good. Oh, nice. Good edit, Nate. So, in the are, are we going to do that? Are we going to draw in the mirror? It says uh, that full quote from the big dog shirt. I feel like maybe we can say that we're going to do that, but maybe also we should move on. Yeah, I think I, I'm kind of want to. I want to f- fill out the world a little more. Yeah, okay, I think so I think there's, it's time a, to move there's on. just there's just a mirror back here. Yeah, this is a mirror. This is just you're just getting ready to. I think what's happening is you're like you're you're getting ready, you're getting dressed, uh, and you're getting ready to go out and play oh, tennis. Oh, it's like a locker room. Yeah, this is the locker room. This is because you're a, you're a vain tennis star. You're the bad boy of tennis. I feel like we do need some kind of like indication because I don't like mm-hmm. the net is such an unusual net. A yeah. racket is so unusual. It's not obvious I'm a tennis player yet to me. Uh, yeah, Nate, just you know, draw. Well, I added the the sweatbands to. Oh, yeah, right, sweat bands, yeah. yeah. To uh, draw a tennis out. ball. What do you want? Universe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're balancing you're balancing a tennis ball in your head. There you go. See, is that is that tennessee enough for you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Nothing will ever be tennessee enough for me. That's I want that's, me rolling around on, on in Wimbledon. That's the uh, that's the quote on the top of your IMDb page. Nothing, Nothing will ever be tennessee. Be tennessee. <laughs> I think it's time to take an audience suggestion, honestly. If if, if that's okay with you guys. Yeah, of course. Is um, this okay? Yeah. It's okay with me. So our suggestion, and we'll let Nate finish up over there. Our suggestion today comes from Awesome Potatoes, uh, who said you should draw your own sitcom, which I think we've already we've already fleshed out this world to a fair degree. We've but got, I think we've got a great leading man right yeah, here. Yeah, I think. Like, I think that maybe like you, Pat Castle's the bad boy of Pat tennis. Pat Castle's the bad boy of tennis. Um, just got disqualified from the league. Yeah. Uh, and now he's got to live with twelve orphans. Or what? What do you think? What, what's the hook here? Yeah, what's... Um, I'm trying to think of a pun name, and then just go from oh, there. Oh yeah, it's all great sitcoms. <clears throat> it's best to come up yeah. with a pun title first. How and about then, and this... then think of yeah. compelling stories and characters? I think I've got it. I think I've got the name for the show. Yeah. Uh, tennis is the only sport where it's not gay to love balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you really like that, don't you? <laughs> it's a little long. Uh, the hashtag's going to be tricky. What about but... baseball? They love balls in baseball. Nah, but love. It's a pun on but tennis. But love. Oh, right. <laughs> no, don't, no, don't say you're right. It's still bad. What about like, t- what about like, I mean, a love pun is something. Like love and. Yeah. Love, love and, and marriage. Love and fault. Oh, yeah, is fault another tennis thing? Yeah, like yeah. if you hit the net. How it's about a fault. Uh, f- the fault with love, or like the fault in our fault stars, the fault in our tennis stars. <laughs> love. Faulty love is pretty good, actually. Faulty love, and my name is mm-hmm. Pat Fault. Yeah, and then my <laughs> neighbor is or Veronica whatever. Love. Veronica Love. Yeah. Veronica Love. So, <laughs> Nate, when you're done, you want to throw it back to me, and I'll draw yeah. Veronica Love. I just, I just really want to. I need to fix the. The, the the webbing the netting is, and, you know, I, it's can't, fine. I can't wait to check this on pivot what's pivot that's that tv network oh right, right. <laughs> okay i thought that's I, the net that's the network that picked the show i up. can't wait to peep this on pivot that's where joe that's where joseph gordon levitt show is on yeah joe goldo's <laughs> hit record hit record is it hit record or hit record I have to assume it was hit record because oh. it's like music in nature yeah i never saw that show well if it was music in nature it'd be hit record Oh, we're rec- oh, right. I, but it could be record, too. I think it's hit record, but I don't know. That's his Twitter handle. I guess, yeah. I he really get, doubled down on it. Yeah, that, I, I love that, though. Yeah. That's like... <laughs> it's nice he's passionate mm-hmm. about something. He seems... That's probably... I'm glad that he has happiness. something to keep him keep him up. Yeah. That's the key to, to, to happiness. Uh-huh. If I were him, I would just be like... It's weird how, how many times he snuck hit record into, into, into Looper. <laughs> 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 into every one of his movies. <laughs> Right. Hey, there is that yeah. scene, yeah, it's like... In John John. 
he he points the shotgun at him just before at the end when uh -huh. he's about when he's stopping the time travel loop. He looks at the camera and he says, "Hit record Wednesdays at one a.m." <laughs> and then I ended the loop on pivot. I ended the loop and I hit record. <laughs> Only on pivot. Only and on like, pivot. <laughs> that's yeah. And then like and what's Don John? Is that the other movie you did? Don John was the movie he wrote. Yeah, that was where he liked porn. That's like every every time you see him watching porn, uh, he's got hit record open in another window. <laughs> If you, <laughs> Nate, am I good to open that? I believe so. All right, let me. Let do you me go think do there's it. anyone in the world mm -hmm. who was a huge Joseph Gordon-Levitt fan? Yeah, but purely other than me because of Hit Record, that show Hit Record, <laughs> and they don't, they're not aware of his movie career. <laughs> That's yeah. It's like, oh yeah, I love Hit Record. It's like, have you seen Looper? What? Yeah, What's they've that? never seen Looper. <laughs> Sorry, they've what? never seen The Dark Knight Rises. They've never. <laughs> they don't go on. They don't go on Tumblr. <laughs> They they're just are rock. <laughs> They've never seen Third Rock from the Sun. Mm -hmm. They just think they're just a huge, huge hit recorder. What did fan. they? How did they find him then? Like from his? I mean, from his they Tumblr just, maybe? No, they were from, just they don't go on Tumblr. The, the, the TV. Okay, they were flipping yeah. Channels and uh -huh. they saw this the show something on the screen that hooked them. But they're just. I mean, they're a big Pivot fan. Yeah, they, watch, yeah, they like. Yeah. They think they, maybe they watch whatever the other shows before. Uh huh. They watch. Um, well, they 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 tune in. Please like me. They tune in for Faulty Love. And please like All me. All right. We should put a little pivot look. No, because I'm going to get sued. Yeah, no. By pivot. pivot. Are, you, the are you drawing Veronica Love right yeah, now? Yeah, I'm drawing Veronica Love. Uh, she's. I think she's like a business. Oh, you know what? She's a sports agent. Good call. A, yeah. This is a... So I the, like this. This really this is, is I think the... This, I think we found like a, a romantic fantasy for me. I never knew I had. <laughs> It's this like this you, is just the plot of uh, of Happy Gilmore, but tennis yes. instead of golf. I mean, it, <laughs> yeah, it's true. Well, if it was if it was a happy, <laughs> what it, a what is point. the love interest in Happy? Is she an agent or her is name she, is? I don't. I know she was a reporter, right? She's a reporter. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 no. She was like like head of like she was a golf exec. She was executive for the PGA. Oh, really? And she was like, oh, this. She was the only one who was like, because golf. People weren't watching golf, and she was like, "Guys, oh, this oh you're right." Boost ratings, yeah, 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 exactly. She was very okay, so. Stuffy. This is a little different. Yeah, she's yeah, she's a sports sports agent. I'm more of a biggest, bit, I, I'm not even joking. I'm more of a Billy Madison guy. I think I've, <laughs> I've seen I've seen Happy Gilmore maybe twice. I've seen Billy Madison, I don't know, a dozen times. Billy, Billy Madison, I think, is a little more like just classic Sandler insanity. Yeah, I think I was never really. A, I think I was I'm never. My brother loved Happy Gilmore because he played hockey and he's a hockey oh, yeah, player. Okay, right? but. <laughs> I um, man, Billy Madison, what a funny movie! Mm -hmm. You guys, uh, you guys see Pixels? No, <laughs> I didn't see Pixels. Did, did you? No. Is that is he recording that? <laughs> no. <laughs> then the, I'm not the dink is though. The dink is. It's true. I that's I want to I want to come up with a weird dumb nickname for every celebrity now. The dink. You got the dink. Okay. You got Joe Golo. <laughs> Wait, who's Joe Golo? Joseph Gordon Levitt. Oh yeah, no, he's hit record. But Jogolo, I like. But Jogolo is what they call him. Yeah, <laughs> I that's don't what know. Sarah, you understand that's Sarah what, that's, told they me already that have that. When he hosted one. SNL. That's yeah. what everyone called him. They, did he like? Say, was that in his writer? <laughs> I don't everyone know. Everyone must refer to me as Jogolo. <laughs> also, no blue M and M's. <laughs> I would totally comply with that. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with that. Also, don't make fun of monorails. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Monorails well, are off top, off limits. Off, off limits I, for Jogolo. I, Jogolo just sounds like such a weird like. It's it so, so close fanciful. to Jogolo. Yes, also that. Oh man, now I just want to draw like a Joseph Gordon-Levitt Jogolo. Can I tell that, a quick that must that must be a thing already? Yeah, right? I would say so. I'm, Can I tell a quick little anecdote that's kind of like the do. George Takai monorail thing mm -hmm. that I always thought was kind of funny? Yeah, so I, I saw an interview. There's an interview with the, the Cohen brothers about uh -huh. like for some retrospective for um the Big Lebowski. Oh yeah. And you know in that movie, if any, if you ever seen that movie, um, Jeff, one, one Gold, of my faves, one of my faves, the dude's rug, play, the the rug is a big, like a big, it's kind of the center of his rug is stolen. That's mm -hmm. kind of like the inciting incident of the entire movie. So it sort of it ties the, the the room and the movie together. Yeah, we, we look at that. And so because the rug is such a big part of it, like for some reason this magazine called um like <laughs> it was like I think it's called Floor Coverings Quarterly or something <laughs> like that. It's like some industry magazine for uh -huh. rugs and other floor coverings. They wanted, they just, oh, no. they were like, oh, there's, there's a movie about rugs. They wanted to interview the Coen brothers about this movie because they thought it was interesting that, you know, how often is there a movie that's about <laughs> yeah. rugs? And the Coen brothers were like so excited. They don't do many interviews. And they were yeah. so excited to do this one. And they said it's like the longest interview they've ever given. Because <laughs> they just they were really excited break, to they talk. They break down about. crying. They commit to murder. Yeah. They confess to murder. <laughs> yeah, they got, they, got, they got a big expose. They also, yeah, I think uh, 
Banksy was go- has agreed to come out in floor coverings quarterly. <laughs> For, wow. for that, uh, for that, his his piece where where the the rug is is actually uh, is actually a, it's a there's a stencil of bush on it. <laughs> yeah, there's but a stencil of bush, <laughs> but it's but, bush with a, the face of a chimpanzee, and it says and, like, war with a question mark <laughs> instead of teeth. It's butterflies. It's like there's a whole there are many layers <laughs> to it. There's a st- <laughs> and there's a Stussy S. <laughs> that was in the we did a um an article a while back. Uh, on the site that was like, like, I think Banksy's getting lazy. And it was like, it was that. It was an American flag made of Stussy S's. Oh, right. <laughs> right, that was also like a minion or something like that? Or yeah, something? it was a fat minion. was a minion. minion. It was a yeah. fat minion eating at McDonald's. Uh, I love Banksy. He's such a hack. <laughs> Is that true? People, you know, like, you're not a Banksy fan? Uh, no, I hate Banksy. I don't know. I, see, I'm, I'm not He's I'm such a like, man, so I don't know who I'm supposed if, to you, appreciate and who I'm not. Going back to uh, Simpsons, did you see like the the in, the in, the intro that Banksy did, like the couch gag? Um, is that where like everyone was like all the kids were like making DVDs? Yeah, and stuff? it's yeah. like so like just it was such like a like sophomore year of high school like revelation. It's like oh man, like. Capitalism, like here's a statement about it. Is he still like? Is I he, think is... I think Banksy is a title that you once you reach your junior year of college, you you oh. can no longer m- create you, stuff so yeah. derivative. Do you think that uh, like it, he needs to pass it on? It's like the Dread Pirate Roberts. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, so you think that like Banksy is perpetually? It's a title held by like um, a a junior in high school with good graffiti skills. Uh, junior, junior in high school to sophomore in college. You think yeah. this is actually Banksy's identity, or yes. is like how Banksy should? I think this is your critical analysis of Banksy. I think that this is uh, it's a critical analysis, but also like 100. It's a what th- it's is. a fan theory. Yeah. It's, 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 <laughs> Thank it's you. A, yeah. Let's make this room in the same size. What, as what's you, <laughs> are you still? Can you still be a fan of something if you don't like it? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. That is like that is a question That's only a, people who have like. Been worked on the internet as long as we have. Yeah. Can ask. We've, like, we've I'm all, fascinated no, by this thing that I hate. I, I mean, I fully think that. Like, I most recently have been playing a video game that I know is bad, but I, I love it. <laughs> what uh, game? I, I've been playing uh, the Metal Gear Solid Four, which is like a big batshit crazy uh, like blockbuster game, um, and I love it. But like, I know that it's bad. I think that. I was talking to Pat about this before. Uh, I think that like the movies have gotten so polished that I really like kind of like enjoy when I find something that's a little like broken and messy. Definitely. Uh, so yeah, I, I would say that you can like things even if you know they're bad. Yeah, I, mean, I think the question is more like, can you be a fan of something and hate it? Not like hmm. no, because you can know something's bad but still like it. I, I think. think a good that's number good of college humor fans. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Hate. A good number of the uh-huh. internet in general. Yeah. <laughs> Hate, the internet they, proves they, this theory. In, they will always come back, but they hate everything we make, and yeah. it's you know what? It's fine. They're allowed. <laughs> I think yeah. I think like and dislike have become much more like of an abstract. I feel like even with like anonymous and stuff, like sometimes it's hard to tell when they like like something and don't like something. Like yeah. you know, like whether they. I mean, I feel like there are. It's just very difficult to tell sometimes when it's like they. Like well, they're they don't they're not really respecting this thing, but they they also haven't sent a million pizzas to him, so maybe they have some kind of yeah. They haven't doxed them, so I guess yeah. like they're in between. <laughs> yeah, they're, yeah, they're exactly. so so on it because they haven't ruined this person's life. Please don't dox us. Yeah, it's it's pretty. Oh my gosh. That's, yeah, we should we should start every uh, every instead of having a call to action at the end of every video, just we just, just a like, plea. Yeah, just a plea. Just please don't dox us. Oh my god. We have so much embarrassing stuff. <laughs> you would find so much dirt. I think yeah, it'd be pretty bad. I don't even know. I have I just have like I have accounts my... on a lot of damning forums. <laughs> just like all of my leaked emails, just like giving yeah. notes to freelancers, like, hey, can oh, you yeah. make the uh, <laughs> yeah. make the balls a little less visible in this uh, in this sex uh-huh. scene? Could you make this chick a little less fat? <laughs> right. <laughs> Don't yeah, don't lie. We've all done it. We are all wearing Guy Fox masks it's right true. now. You can't tell because of, it's a podcast. But that's yeah. Well, they've got the they've got the microphones built into them. I always yeah. thought it's funny how like I feel like the reason you know that like I know the mask is older than that, but mm-hmm. I feel like because V for Vendetta is when like they they first started like doing public like demonstrations. And yeah, that's kind of the reason that mask took off. So if just if it had been like a few, if if just that first protest or that first the kind of that movement had been a 
a few years earlier, it mm-hmm. might be like like an Austin Powers wig might be yeah. like <laughs> the symbol of Anonymous instead of the guy Fox. The wig and the glasses. Just legions of people looking, yeah, with the wig and glasses showing up on America, Wall Street. America, we must demand that you behave. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do we make you horny? Do we? <laughs> Does justice make you horny? <laughs> and it was just, yeah. That's, that's, I mean, it's, that's a really good, that's a really astute observation, too, because I feel like that is like a thing the That's like the next cultural loves. touchstone before me for Vendetta is Austin Powers. It's like, I can't think of any other I mean, I guess like The Matrix would have been another one. Yeah, but I mean, I men's you, rights you, activists have sort of co-opted that. Yeah, one. that one. I guess I was being How co-opted so? for it. Well, like the red pill. They, they call know. themselves red pill. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't realize that was like men's. I didn't realize. I, I thought that was just for any like kind of like eye-opening thing. I didn't realize that it had been co- corrupted by yeah by that group of people. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> They'll ruin. They've ruined everything, and they got that too. Not I the like Matrix. to think they're they're only refer like it's. I know Red Pill was specifically in the mm-hmm. first movie, but I like yeah. to think they they're bigger fans of the sequels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just because like open you know, your I eyes. Care, I don't care about the take the, as much. Take the Red Pill and then see how far this rabbit hole goes. Specifically to the point where you think that maybe the CGI in the second one wasn't so bad. <laughs> And then they, robot fights they refer, dope. yeah, when describing the Red Pill, they, they say it's from that movie, you know, the prequel to The Matrix Reloaded. <laughs> the prequel to The Matrix Reloaded. They're, they're, that's what MRA stands for. It stands for Matrix Reloaded Advocates. <laughs> Matrix Reloaded what? Matrix Reloaded Advocates. <laughs> Guys, listen, okay? First of all, the architect scene, the architect, uh, scene is... Amazing. Uh, the the, car me- chase the mechanics good. of those, ma- the twins, the twins. Oh my god, the twins. You guys know Mike Carnell, right, Sarah Schneider? Yeah, like, yeah. He went for Halloween one year as with his friend as the twins from the Matrix or sequel, and it is oh my, my favorite god. costume Un- ever. Like, unironically? No, nah, I think it was like. I mean, I think they just. I definitely, they definitely look cool. And are, like, I think it's a really good one because like, it's so. I, everyone knows yeah, who they are for some it reason. Right after the movie comes yeah. out, it, yeah. You, no, it, like, this was like this was like two years ago. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Make no mistake. That's so funny. That's like the perfect amount of time too. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's yeah. like cause people are like, oh yeah, I can't that, think what, of a... was that. It was a sequel to something, but what? Oh, it was the Matrix. Yeah, I cannot think of a better like dated costume. That's uh, that's perfect. Because it never. Yeah, it's like. So effortful, and they're mm-hmm. they, you. It's also I think about the thing the Matrix is great is that like it's to me one of the purest nerdy things because it's mm-hmm. it's so it's so serious and yeah. people people who dress up like Neo, there's no irony there at all. No. Like even when you dress up like Darth Vader now, it's kind of like you know it's fun, it's cheeky, it's this cultural touchstone, and the Matrix is too. But but the Matrix is like there's no irony there. I'll never forget going to uh, I went to prom at another girl's high school. Yeah, uh, and there was a dude like at prom wearing like a full like you know like Neo uh, yeah. in in Matrix Reloaded like frock. <laughs> you know that like the he duster. does have a fr- the duster. That's, it's that's not a duster. Mean. It's like a straight up like dress. <laughs> oh, wait. it's like From a Reloaded. Button. Yeah, remember yeah. remember how he looked like super cool in the Matrix, and then the Wachowskis were like, no, 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 you should wear like <laughs> <laughs> you should wear like a sleeping gown. Yeah, it's like... you should wear like a a dusk black sleeping gown for the rest of these goddamn movies. They just that's like Brad. Yeah, I think they were just trying to give him. They were just going leaning into the iconography. Yeah, I think there's a deleted scene where it's like. Neo has to like check into a hotel and it's like, oh, it's it. You find out his middle name is Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're, I, we've, we've been done drawing for a while and I would love to keep talking, but I think they're like, I think we should uh, review what we've done and then, totally. like, and then I'm, like, just I, do another hour on the Matrix. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Let's, by all means, I could, I'm, I feel, uh, I'm sorry that I left on this rabbit, what, rabbit what hole. What do you think? How, how do we, do? we saw how deep the a rabbit hole does go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, here's I'll, I'll draw like the suggestion. Of this your... is great. I would watch this show. I'm yeah. I'm only half joking, and mm-hmm. maybe not at all. Even. I mean, it definitely. I mean, we've talked a lot about uh, like bad TV show titles. I think uh, across Slack, and like this definitely feels like a real show title. Like I, I need to like this being read the Split Sider review yeah. first, but then like I'd I'd probably give it a chance. <laughs> I, sure. I would like I would I would have a kind of like like begrudging. I I feel like I would. I wouldn't hate the title right. until oh, well, the, the, I learned the that the, the character's last names were Fault and Love. That hand's on yeah. the wrong side. Oh, no. Oh, you're right, it is. No, this, it's, it's actually... <laughs> this is it's a, a weird... It's, it's, it's actually, yeah. 
it, it takes some weird like multi <laughs> like multiverse turns in season this two. Is, I don't know why I like did this to myself. I don't know why I was like, this is what I want to draw at the oh, end of the Oh, we're finished drawing. Oh, wait, no, now it's... This is what I want to go out on, is me <laughs> trying to draw a mirror image perspective. <laughs> Yeah, like why do that? This why is, is this in there? This yeah, I the drew the mirror and then you gave see. me the out of not yeah. having to draw him in the mirror, and I was I so grateful. To, oh god, I don't know what I've done. <laughs> this looks fine. I, it's oh, yeah, it's good Sorry enough. To be kind of... <laughs> nice, show, nice call on the red with the mm. the thing. Oh yeah, I figured. Yeah. You know, you wanted a little, like, <laughs> little focal point. Uh huh. I love you know the what? Idea of, I, like I can't imagine an NBC stick ever, ever like it's having the big dog shirt in the. It's like yeah. so distracting. The big dog people would be so pumped. They'd be like, "We got it. <laughs> we got the fa faulty love deal." It's just like so. I feel like if I was like dry, it's just it's so specific. I feel like they go, they strive so hard to just not have logos or like anything in those billboards, and it's just such specific thing. I love it. All right, well, we're gonna go think of thirty more big dog shirt ideas. Uh, Pat, thank you so much for joining us. This was a lot of fun. I'm sorry we didn't talk more about the drawing process. Oh, it's I, okay. But I really enjoyed talking about. Nobody I mean, watches the actual about. drawing process. They're here for, they're here for the the hilarious insight into Simpsons episodes. I'm gonna go buy a leather duster now. <laughs> we're all gonna go buy leather jammies to sleep in. Uh, just long gowns. Uh, thank you guys for watching so much. Um, I guess watch College Humor uh, and read the site because that's the thing we're all involved with. Um, I've call I'm Caldwell. I'm Nathan. Still. I'm Pat. And Still. we are very, very sorry. <laughs>